Hey everybody and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. Today we're on location at Andy's place. Look, I actually got him on camera. He's here. Hey we're guys. gonna be cooking using his setup, which is awesome, and he's got an oven that works because mine sucks. But <laughs> it's holiday week and we're gonna do Wolf and Newt first. So we're gonna do some roast meat. This is gonna be amazing. And he's gonna let us get and play with all his toys. He's got so much crap here and it's all cast iron and fun. So this is gonna be great. Before we do, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell, get notifications, and be sure to check the link down the doobly doo to get all our merch that neither one of us have on or are using right now. It's not a good endorsement, but it's, no, it's there not. and it will be. And I look really just with that light, so uh, I'm a hero. <laughs> like super hero landing. Like, <laughs> and let's just get into it. All right, so you're going to need some kind of meat for roasting. Uh, it's wolf and newt. You're supposed to have roast meat. I found this one for nine bucks, one well under budget, so I could use it for some other stuff the last 50 cents or so. You're going to need a little bit of salt. Really, it's up to you if you want salt, but I'm using very little, though Andy carries this a lot. Now, I use that last dollar or so, the last couple of cents, because I uh, got a coupon to get me some rosemary and thyme. You can use the dry stuff. I'm using the fresh stuff just because I want to be fancy. And you're going to need a couple of teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of olive oil. It doesn't have to be extra virgin. It can be around a block a few times. It's fine. So, uh, you want to preheat your oven to 350, get you a decent roasting pan or something to put this in, and then this is where you get your uh, your olive oil, all right? Just give it a little dose. doesn't have to be olive oil. You could use, like, regular stuff, but I just enjoy uh, olive oil. If you don't have oil, butter's fine, but you just want to coat this, right? So, like, a tablespoon or so, I just got it coated. It helps the, the seasoning stick, really. It's the only reason I really use it, and it doesn't stick to the uh, roasting pan as much. Give it a nice coverage. Just give it a nice smack, because you got to spank your meat make it do it give it a pinch of salt top and bottom uh i had a problem with reaching my hand into andy's salt jar because my hands are big and stupid now uh again you can use the dried stuff if you're using the fresh stuff wash it wash all your fruit and veg and your herbs i guess i need to add that here now this uh this rosemary you want to pull this off don't leave the long stems in there trust me the time you can do it either way uh depends on your knife now the rosemary i've gone through and uh Pulled all the big leaves off. Now, if you come across any other stems or any kind of sticks in there, it'll be fine. Now, uh, your rosemary, go ahead and cut it down because you don't want the giant leaves. You can't. It doesn't have to be super fine. doesn't have to be powdered. But just give it a nice, easy chop once or twice through your knife and you're fine. Uh, again, you're going to put this on the outside. Most of it's going to fall off as you're cooking it. Now, uh, your time, just go ahead and get your knife and chop it down as small as possible. Uh, you can notice my arms turned brown here. Tattoos are different. Uh, and you got a super chop on. Now, you can still go in here and you want to pull out some of these long stems that are still in here that the knife might have missed. But then go ahead and mix these together. You're just going to go and put them all at the same time. Uh, if you're not into these herbs, don't have to use it. You can use whatever you want. You can use just regular old seasoned salt. But I did this just because it made me feel fancy, like I was doing something really nice. But we're doing this for Wolf and Newt. Remember, this is for, you know, people celebrating kindness and canines. And this is roast beef because wolves and dogs like meat. So that's why we're doing this one just for these guys. So uh, go ahead and make sure your oil is all over. Give it a nice coating. Now, I should have done put some underneath where it'll stick to it first, but uh, I forgot. So just roll this over, go ahead and put some on the bottom, and it'll cook too. It'll just kind of crust the entire time. Be sure to get this on here. I apologize, you got to use your hands to touch it. I know Jack's skin's crawling just watching me grab and touch all the raw meat, uncooked meat, but just give it a nice coating of this stuff. It's already, as soon as you start chopping, it's going to make your house smell amazing. All right, now remember, your oven's still preheating to 350. You want to put it in there and let that do that. Uh, once you get this done, don't leave that in there because if you cook that brush it's going to smell horrible put it in your oven and you're going to check it until it gets to the interior temperature of at least 145 now we just kept doing this it took about 45 minutes for us to do it boom we pulled it out and there you go at 145 it looks beautiful on the outside you cut it open it is absolutely amazing this is a good stuff now when you bring it out go ahead and get you some aluminum foil or a rag some cheesecloth just kind of cover it tint it let it sit let it rest for about 20 minutes all right, so it's nice and cooled off. Uh, looks kind of horrible in the pan, but trust me, this is delicious meat. Like I said, it's chuck meat, so it's under 10 bucks. It feeds plenty of people. It's under our budget. This is amazing stuff. Now, uh, again, it's for this holiday. If you don't know about it, please look it up. <laughs> Wolf newt. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. I'm glad somebody put this together, and we celebrate by eating roast meat and cookies. Cookies will come eventually. And there you have it, folks. Roast meat, perfect for your wolf and newt. Just to be able to get in there, and it's got the weeds and stuff all over it, just like a wolf would find it in the woods. You just find it, you eat the grass around you, that's how you eat your vegetables as well. Yeah, true. <laughs>
<laughs> so if you liked it, if you do it differently, you want to see us do it differently, have any different wolf and new kind of stuff, I got to put my head up here to block this light. <laughs> if you want to see us do it, let us know. Put it down in the comments. That's what they're there for. You can also find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. You can find us all those at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram at Living Between Paychecks. Living Between. We had to shorten it over on my that. My bad. Sorry. He, he doesn't do Instagrams. He's not into the Insta stuff. Yeah. But we had to shorten it over bad. there. You can also find us on. Uh, that was it called? TikTok. I'm over there under my name, Osway Nerdy. Been getting some recipes, putting some stuff out there. Thank you for everybody that's giving our recipes. And it's Thanksgiving week, so I hope you enjoy your time and enjoy your family, or at least enjoy the food. And we'll see you next time. My hands off screen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs>